All right, so day 11. Now, a lot of these videos have been put together very, very quickly and probably not up to the level that I really wanted to spend time on it. That's because I was planning to do this. Well, guess what? I'm obviously not in Australia anymore. Uh, if you know where this is, this is Yokohama Bay. Jumped on a plane, uh, wanted to celebrate my 40th, and I thought, with the advent calendar, my birthday coming up, and surprising my sister, because her and her family are here, I thought there's no better way than to actually just be here. Japan has such a special place in my heart, and if you followed my Instagram, or if you know me as a person, there is only a couple of things that I speak about. Japan, whiskey, and that's really about it. Uh, there is a big reason for that. I've actually been here for a couple of days. I have done no content, no social media at the moment, just because I really wanted to just enjoy it while I can at the way. But I don't have to put a camera in everything I do. Now, today, December 11th, we're doing the Nikka. Now, Nikka is one of the top three brands that most people would know. You've got Nikka, Yamazaki, and also Hibiki. If you don't know those three, then you probably aren't into Japanese whiskey. Now, the prices of all of these have been going crazy, and some of these brands have actually taken their age statements out because they ran out. And that is where this one comes into play, because Nikka actually ran out of their seven, 10, and 17-year-olds a little while ago, I believe in 2015, where this one came out of the woodworks. Now, from the information that we know of, there is some 10-year-old whiskey in here. It is blended with whatever they've got. They will have a new release coming out in 2025. So we would assume that's probably a 10 year old whiskey going off the fact that they canceled this in 2015. Now, I'm not gonna get much into it. I'm actually just going to let you guys enjoy the view here and I'm going to enjoy this in my Old Kempton 10th year anniversary. That's very fitting for potentially what is coming out in the next little while. It is just damn good whiskey and still at a really reasonable price. So very sherry forward on this one. I absolutely love it. It is always a staple in my collection. I've actually got all the age statements at home and they're not gonna get opened up for a very long time unless it's for a very special occasion. So please follow along with uh, everything I'm doing. Tomorrow, I'm actually at a distillery that is very small that you probably may never have heard of it. It's in between Tokyo and Osaka. Uh, and then I've got a few bars that I'm heading out to in Osaka. I went to an amazing one called the Shanty Shack last night in Yokohama, and it was absolutely amazing. So again, I hope you guys enjoying the advent calendar and I'll, get, I'll see you guys tomorrow. All right, so I was just getting ready with my camera set up to do uh, today's review, and then this little guy kind of came up to me. He's now walked away, but he was uh, very smoochy just a couple of moments ago, and he's just, a, I guess, a stray cat that just likes people. <laughs> 